Hello everyone! In this robotics and mechatronics tutorial we explain how to install robot operating system version 2 or ROS2 on Ubuntu Linux machines. In particular, in this video tutorial we explain how to install ROS2 version called Iron Irvini, which is the most recent ROS2 version. Before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. In this video tutorial, I explain how to install ROS2 from binaries, and this is the recommended method for absolute beginners. In my previous video tutorial, whose link is given in the description below, I explained how to install ROS2 by building the source files. This approach is meant for developers looking to change or explicitly modify a ROS2 base. And it's not recommended for absolute beginners. Also, before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. I created a tutorial web page and an installation manual that thoroughly explain how to install ROS2 on Linux Ubuntu. On that web page, you can see all the Linux commands that I will type in this video. However, you should not stop watching this video tutorial and simply copy and paste the commands from that web page. If you do that, you might be able to install ROS2, however, you will not learn the basics of ROS2. In this tutorial, I provide a detailed explanation of all the installation steps that should be properly understood if you want to thoroughly and properly learn ROS2. Finally, I have to mention that it took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 450 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Okay, let's start with the explanation. The first step is to verify that the proper version of Linux is installed. And this is very important. Don't waste time installing ROS if you don't have the proper Linux version. To properly install ROS2 and to run ROS2 on your computer, you need this Linux version. 22.04 Ubuntu. And the code date is Jammy. It's a 64-bit version. So let's verify that we have the correct Linux version. For that purpose, Let's open a terminal window and in a terminal window let's type this. And as you can see over here I have the correct Linux version. My version is Ubuntu 22.043 however any other version uh, should work that is this number can be any other number however the most important thing is that these two numbers are correct 22.04 and this place can be any other number. Keep in mind that. Next, we need to set up our system. We have to make sure that we have a system that supports UTF-8. UTF-8 is an encoding standard used for electronic communication. UTF is an abbreviation for Unicode Transformation Format. To verify that we have UTF and to properly set the parameters, we need to execute these commands. So let's do this. Over here, I will change the size of this window so you can see what I'm typing. First, let's do this. Then, let's do this. And in my case, you can see that most requirements will be satisfied. Then, we need to execute this. So be careful. Okay, I made an error here by copy and pasting. So be careful what you're typing. Okay, then we need to execute this. Then we need to execute this. And again, I made an error, so be careful what you're typing. And finally, let's verify that everything is okay. And as you can see over here it is. It's important that you have UTF everywhere here. Next, we need to enable repositories. That is, we have to make sure that Ubuntu Universe repository is enabled. 
To do that, let's click over here. Then let's search for software. Click over here. This window should open and under this menu, make sure that this option is clicked and that this option is clicked. This is very important. Next, in our terminal window, we need to type the following. Okay, then we need to type this line. Press enter. This is very important step. Then we need to add the ROS2 GPG key. To do that, we need to execute this line. Then we need to execute this line. Then we need to add the repository to the source list. Consequently, I need to execute this. Okay. Next, we need to install the development tools. We do this by typing this. This is a very important step. Next, we need to update the apt repository cache. We do it like this. Okay, let's continue. Next, we need to update the system. And finally, let's install the desktop version of ROS. To do, to do this, we type sudo apt install ROS Iron Desktop. And let's cross our fingers and let's hope that everything will be fine. Yes, select yes, and let's continue. And now this will take some time. You can see the progress over here. What will happen right now? We will install ROS with the libraries, with the packages and other components. The execution of this command took several minutes on my computer. Next, we need to test a few things. First, we need to try to set up our environment by sourcing this file. Namely, every time you run ROS or any node, you need to source the environment. Basically, this means that you need to execute this file. So let's try to do this. Perfect. And let's try to verify a few things. First of all, by sourcing this file, we'll, we set several environmental variables necessary for proper operation of ROS2. Let us make sure that the environment is properly set up by running this command. And let's see the response. And here, let's analyze the output. We can see that the ROS version is equal to 2. This is a very important thing and very then, we have the ROS Python version 3. This is also very important, and this is very important. ROS distro is equal to iron. Make sure that these environmental variables are properly set. If they are not, then you didn't perform some of these steps correctly. So make sure, again, that you see something similar to this. Next, let's test the installation by running a Hello World example. In the ROS world, a hello world example is the so-called talker listener example. So let's try to run this example. First of all, let's close this window. Then let's open a new window from scratch. And in this window, let's first source the environment. Again, every time you want to run something in ROS, you need to source your environment. That is, you need to execute this file setup.bash. Okay, this is a very important step. Now, let's run our node called Talker. Talker is a ROS node that will do the following. It will publish this string, hello world1, hello world2, where this index will increment itself. So what's happening over here? Talker is submitting this string to appropriate topic. On the other hand, that is on the other side, we need to have a listener. We need to have a node that will 
receive this message and that will interpret this message and print it on the screen. So let's run the so-called listener node. To run the listener node, again, we open a new terminal. While this terminal is still open, then again, we need to source the environment. Okay, then we need to run our listener node. And here it is. And we can see that the listener receives the string hello world 56. So here's the string hello world 56. And we can see that our listener actually got it. Okay, this is a proof of principle that you have properly installed ROS2. Okay, this would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.